<laughs> oh man. It is time to take down the pool here at the Ultimate Reloader Ranch. And the other day I was thinking to myself, will my 300 Remington Ultra Mag go all the way through the pool and the water out the other side? In this video, we're gonna find out, but we're gonna work our way up to the 300 Remington Ultra Mag, starting with something a little more mild. I decided to start the day shooting with 22 long rifle, because where else are we going to start? 22 long rifle is capable of sending a 40 grain projectile at about 1,250 feet per second, yielding about 130 foot-pounds of energy. And I used my trusty Ruger 1022, which has been with me from the very start of my shooting career. In order to capture all of the action, we used a total of four cameras during the destruction of this swimming pool. Starting with the drone, that gave us an overhead view of everything as things went down. We also used two 4K cameras, one handheld at the front of the pool, sort of from the firing line, and one from behind. I wanted to make sure I captured the bullet going all the way through the back skin of the pool if one of the bullets was able to do so. And finally, I haven't shown this to you guys yet here on the channel, I have an Edgertronic SC2 Plus high-speed camera. This camera is so advanced, it'll give you HD footage at up to 4,456 frames per second. And that's gonna tell us exactly what happens when the bullet is going through the surfaces of the pool and through the water. Then I decided to turn up the heat a bit with a popular handgun cartridge. I skipped straight over 38 Special and 9mm Parabellum and went up to 10mm Auto. Why? Because 10mm is awesome. This cartridge is capable of sending a 200 grain projectile at 1200 feet per second, yielding about 700 foot-pounds of energy. Let's see how 10mm did against my pool. Next, I decided to go with one of the most extreme handguns out there, 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum. This cartridge is a fire breather, capable of sending a 350 grain projectile at 1900 feet per second, yielding about 2800 foot-pounds of energy. Pool, I hope you're ready for what's coming next. Okay. Okay. Next, it was time to turn it literally up to 11 with one of the most extreme 30 cal rifle cartridges, the 300 Remington Ultra Magnum, capable of hurling a 180 grain projectile at 3,200 feet per second, yielding 4,200 foot-pounds of energy. That's 32 times the energy produced by the miserly, meagerly little 22 long rifle. Let's see how the pool is gonna stand up to this beast. My word! <laughs> oh wow! Are you getting this?
<laughs> oh man. <sighs> that was awesome. The 300 Remington Ultramag literally ripped the entire side of the pool open and it emptied in seconds. I was scurrying to get my belongings as they were literally floating away in the tidal wave of water. <laughs> it was so funny, I couldn't stop laughing for quite a while. Then came the task of sifting through the remains and trying to figure out what happened, starting with 22 long rifle. This went approximately as I was expecting it to go, with one exception. Like I said, we had a drone flying overhead, we had two 4K cameras, one front and rear, and we had the high speed over to the side. Now we had tested the high speed with a sound trigger. It hears the crack of the rifle or the pistol shot, and then it uses a buffer to rewind in time a little bit, start capturing, and then capture a little bit after. Usually that works out perfect, but with the noise of the drone flying overhead, we could not get the audio trigger to trigger. So, I gave up on actually getting high speed footage of the 22 long rifle bullet, and that probably doesn't matter because it didn't do much. It penetrated the side of the pool, and each of the bullets, which I saw on the bottom of the pool midway through the shooting exercise, they only went about 12 inches in, literally where they settled on the floor of the pool. We had some mushrooming of the bullets, shot three total, had little tiny holes in the side of the pool and it was water was dribbling out and uh, we decided to move on from there. So not too much of a surprise there. Then came the 10 millimeter, which I had loaded with a 200 grain Hornady XTP bullet. This bullet mushroomed beautifully. This is literally textbook. And this bullet went in, I don't know, a couple feet or so, I would say, and settled on the bottom. It rapidly decelerated, and that's no surprise because of the mushrooming here, the increased area that we saw. We've got petals that are curled back. Looks like good weight retention. This is kind of textbook, and again, not too much of a surprise. At this point, the 10 millimeter bullet had ripped a fairly big hole in the side of the pool. Unfortunately, I shot up relatively high because it would have really emptied the pool in a quick hurry had I not shot high. The next shot came from the 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum, and this was a little bit of a surprise. Again, I shot high because I didn't want to empty the whole pool. The bullet was recovered in almost perfect condition. This is like the, the mystery bullet from the JFK assassination. There's a little bit of engraving of the rifling on the sides of the bullet, but no deformation at all. Now this is a plinking round. This is big grains, Freedom's munition uh, ammo. And again, not totally surprising, and it probably had to do with the fact that it was skimming along near the top of the pool. It went all the way to the back wall and settled. It did not puncture the pool. The impact of the bullet cannot be seen in any of the footage, so it might not have actually touched the back wall of the pool. Then came the 300 Remington Ultra Magnum. And again, there were surprises. The bullet, which was recovered in the center of the pool, only went about six feet underwater. And I was expecting, this is the Barnes TSX full copper bullet, I was expecting peeled back petals. Expansion, not unlike what we observed with the 10 millimeter bullet, but that is not what happened. As you can see here, the front of the bullet basically pushed back and it mushroomed, but it didn't really expand much at all. Also, the rifling looks a little bit dirty on the sides of the bullet and is, isn't super clean. I have not shot a whole lot of Barnes bullets, these solid copper bullets. I don't have a lot of experience with them, and it's a rare opportunity to recover them 100% intact like this, like you do when you shoot into water. I expected this bullet, with its sectional density and its energy, to go all the way through the pool, to at least go to the back wall. But if you look at the high-speed footage, you can clearly see it slows down 
and it comes to a stop approximately in the middle of the pool. It's about a 12 foot pool, so that's about six feet in. And it didn't go further than that. It did not mushroom a lot. It didn't separate, it just was sort of uneventful. So I didn't expect that this bullet was shot at a deeper depth in the, in the water and maybe that contributed to how far it went and where it stopped. Not totally sure. Another thing I would have loved, and I'm, I'm preempting you here on the comments, I'm sure, to have shown 50 BMG, but I did not have a 50 BMG here on site to use. So maybe I will capture that as a future opportunity. <laughs> what do you all think? Was this what you expected? Please drop a comment. Was there something that happened that you didn't expect? Please drop a comment. This is really interesting stuff and with the Edgertronic SC2 Plus, I am going to be doing a lot more high-speed photography. So if you have ideas for me, please drop a comment and I'll put them in the hopper. That's it. My pool is down for the season. I can't think of a quicker way to have taken that pool down. It was a ton of fun. I had, I was laughing so hard. I wish you all could have been here to see it. It was absolutely awesome. Couple of things. First, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed with notifications. Like I said, we got a lot more cool experiments coming up. High speed video of guns and shooting and targets and all sorts of nonsense. It's gonna be absolutely awesome. And if you look in the video description, you're gonna see a link to the full article. I've got these Ultimate Reloader shirts at the Ultimate Reloader store and more. So thank you for watching. Until next time, happy shooting and happy reloading.